Hello, I'm Spade. It's been a while since we've checked in on my deathmatch, probably because, honestly, we're nearing the end of this series. It's been a little over three months already, and the original plan was just to track three months worth of deathmatch statistics and practice and see how much I improve over time. And, you know, I've improved a lot, although I don't know that the statistics were necessarily the right ones to show it. I picked headshots per kill and headshots per minute as my statistical markers to follow how well I was doing at deathmatch, and each has their own quirks. Headshots per minute is a little weird because it's based entirely on how much action you see and how long you play. And headshots per kill, well, my ratio doesn't seem to go up a ton. Uh, and I think it's because I'm better at actually getting the kills in an engagement. So even when I don't headshot someone, I still, I'm winning engagements now that I was losing completely earlier on in the process. And so the statistic actually looks like it's either going down or just not improving a whole lot when in reality my skill level has gone up. At least that's what I tell myself so that I don't feel too bad about it. Just for reference, the first time I tracked headshots per kills, I got a 0.59 ratio. And the first time I tracked headshots per minute, I got a 1.28. And the round you're looking at now, I played for a total of 22 minutes. I got a headshot per minute ratio of 1.45 and a headshots per kill of 0.6. So an increase of 0.01. All that said, in matchmaking, my rank is now up to one of those AKs, which is pretty cool. And, of course, I still have a lot to learn playing Deathmatch, so I will keep playing. But the Deathmatch videos will probably slow down. Spade out.